I'm Neil Bodai. I'm the founder and artistic director of Nuka Studio. Nuka Studio was officially established in 2015 after a few years of mentoring and teaching young photographers who wanted mentoring and guidance in developing their photographic practice to understand photography better, to understand how they could use photography both as a creative expression and for their professional careers. The Nuku Festival was established by a small group of photographers and people who supported Nuku in order that we could share our passion for photography, both from the local perspective and from our international colleagues, friends and partnerships. The, the main idea behind the festival was that we wanted to bring the highest quality possible to our audience at home, not only to celebrate photography, but to allow our community to see for itself what we are capable of and what we, what we have done. The partnerships for the festival were already with organizations that we have been working with over the last few years prior to um, launching the festival. And they offer their support, not only financially, but also in our production, giving us space to exhibit. And one of the essential aspects of the festival was that we didn't want to centralize everything in Accra. So the festival took place in Accra, Kumasi and Tamale. The festival was launched in Tamale in our center that was given to us by a client of ours, Henry Winches, who we were producing uh, publications for in collaboration with Nordelict to produce the Northern Ghana Life book. It was important that other parts of Ghana would also enjoy and get to learn about photography. It was also important that we invited photographers from other African countries. So we had photographers from Nigeria, Mozambique, Burkina Faso, and World Press Photo actually, uh, through the African Photo Journalist database, provided us the works, the prints and works from photographers that were listed in their database. It was exciting. It was complex because we had to find many of the resources from within an environment where there's very little support for photography. But it allowed us to come together as a community and work towards a bigger vision. I think it's, it was successful and now we're looking towards the next edition which should be announced uh, soon this, in the next coming months. I think that residencies are really an essential part of art-based organizations because they allow artists and in our case photographers to have a safe place to have a place that can meaningfully support their research work in developing their technical, their creative ideas. In that respect, the residency offers them that place where they can also connect with other artists who are in residence. In the beginning, you know, we thought that we would be having interns coming in and I realized we weren't offering internships. Actually, we were dealing with people who already come in with talents. So irrespective of age, we realized that we're all young talents with some degree of passion, some degree of skill. And the residential program is to help specific young talents who we feel understand the ethos of Nuku Studio, understand what our mission and vision is, and that fits into their own vision. The Young Talents program is really set to allow these artists to find what their passion is, to discover not just photography, but other aspects of the production process, such as editing, design, working on our Living Archives project, helping to develop the archive, maintaining our collection of photography, working with the architects and designers of exhibitions and the, the curators of exhibitions, so they're getting a much wider experience in terms of how photography functions from an organizational point of view. And then through that, gain an understanding of what their needs will be in the future in terms of professional development. In the past, we've run workshop programs from within our own programming and in partnership with some of our international partners like uh, World Press Photo. They've been very successful and have inspired us towards moving to establish an integrated, long-term learning 
programming that will be on offer to photographers at you know basic intermediary and advanced levels once that established this help us lead towards understanding within the context of the limitations that we have in a very much underserved creative infrastructure in, in Ghana. As an example, we will then be shaping the workshops towards our immediate needs, but also open to adapting to support more individualized needs so that people get really a, a full experience in terms of learning and for them to appreciate that developing a career in photography, learning is always an ongoing process, not just through a learning institution or organization, but you can always come back to us to look at your work, to talk about what other possibilities are there in developing creative ideas, connecting you to the relevant people, that can support your projects, that can support your vision. We're in an environment where a lot of photographic material is unavailable to us, either due to negligence, loss, theft, or lack of organizational support for photographers. It's important for us as a nation state, as a cultural society to preserve our history, to make available, especially for future generations, images and visual photographic stories that allow us to appreciate our past and present times. The Living Archive Project is really a way for encouraging our young talents to explore assignments that document daily lives and help provide visual data that will grow into a database that at some point we can make available to the public, to researchers, to the publishing industry, to schools, universities and to other artistic organizations uh, locally and internationally. I think it's part of our responsibility to work on the conservation of our works. As part of our archiving initiative, we have decided to establish a rapid response program where whenever we hear of photographers whose works have not been recognized or may be facing situations where their life's work is in danger of being lost, we move as quickly as possible with whatever resources we have to reach them, um, understand what their situations are, what conditions their work is in, and offer them immediate support to help them um, preserve their works. Often we find that, especially with older photographers, many of them lose their works or even destroy their own works because they feel that nobody gives value to their work. So it becomes quite a lonely existence for them. And I think out of frustration, we have seen photographic suicide take place. And that, it's very sad for us and it's also detrimental for our cultural well-being to lose these archives, to lose these photographers' works. So the, the rapid response also includes documenting their lives, finding out about as much information about them, and just allowing them to know that they are not alone. We also have situations where we are aware that archives can be appropriated by deceit. So we try to explain to photographers that their works are valuable and not just to give them away because somebody comes and offers them short term, what might seem like profitable, negotiations but actually undermine the value of their works and become exploited. There's a long history of exploitation that's taking place of African photographic archives and we need to be able to contain that and stop it. We're living in a very fast changing technological world. In these days much of photographic production 
is distributed through social media platforms like Instagram and like Facebook. It's important for organizations like Nuku Studio to try as much as possible to understand the shifting trends in technological support for young photographers and I mean also for established photographers, just for photography in general to understand how photography is evolving and because many photographers aspire to long-term careers as artists, as photographers. It can be a complex space to even understand what are the legal issues, what are the trends that are actually meaningful, and what are the platforms that can help them thrive. And so as we learn, we also share that information with them, we learn from them. But our vision is always to support your, your professional and creative development. So. It's a circular process and it's organic as well because the, the speed of change must mean that we have the ability to also adapt and learn as the systems change. And we know that in the long term, there will be practicing photographers and not disappointed photographers who have attempted to establish themselves loving photography, but do not have the skills to maintain their practice. It's interesting, there are a lot of situations that are taking place in Ghana, in Africa, in the world where uncertainty in often very negative times seem to be affecting our lives and our capacity to fulfill our mission. But this year, I think what's important for Nuku is to continue building the relationships that we have with our young talents, with our team, with our community. Whilst we're developing our internal programming and the partnerships, it's important to make sure that we feel good about ourselves. We feel good about, about our photographic potential and not to lose focus, excuse the pun, not to lose focus and be distracted We've already started the year feeling very good about ourselves. We have a lot of great programming coming up. Within the studio, there's some really innovative thinking going on, especially towards our, our sustainability, which is our highest priority, is how do we establish a sustainable organization in an environment where there's very little, for instance, financial support, where there are very few arts organizations that specifically deal with photography. The positive that's coming out of this is that we are diversifying our, our relationships. We are learning to be more inclusive and inspiring and being inspired by our community of contemporary artists and arts organizations and the art schools. This year is really about rooting, beginning to root those, those relationships. Nuku Studio is a safe, and nurturing space for photographic practice. Our world, politics, economics, cultural dynamics are constantly shifting. For photography is an essential aspect of our communication today. It allows for us to support photographers and photography in understanding the environmental and social impacts of uncertainty. It means that we have to be innovative in our own approach to solving visual literacy. Nuku Studio allows us community, allows us to come together to discuss, debate, to support each other as photographers, as researchers. It broadens our love for each other and what we are doing together.